I know that there's a tagging process going on when my the uh, when the camera stops um, or when the the counter stops and then and 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 then the camera restarts on on the what I'm trying to uh, video journal the um. I wanted to finish my comment because um, my internet timed out when I started talking yet again about the uh, the, the Jenga pants that resembled uh, a pair of pants. And, and I re had remembered thinking at the time, those look like, it's now 2024. For today is March 1st, 2024. It is 2.55 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm, I, I, I had, been try, had been trying to uh, include in my actual video uh, recording the day and uh, time because it's not always uh, recorded and, and those things have been manipulated. Um, the Jenga denim pants uh, that were at uh, that were at 1555 Washington Street. And again, I remember thinking at the time in 2013 or, or asking the question like, look like my daughter's pants from when she was in middle school. And anyway, uh, Jeremy Kilpatrick was asking me at the time if I wanted to wear those pants. Uh, and I, I honestly, I don't even know if they would have fit me because my daughter is smaller than me. And, um, and certainly when she was in middle school, she was smaller than me in 2013, than I was in 2013. Um, but even the thought of, and I hadn't even um, began to realize the whole, the transference thing of one person's experiences to another. That's actually, during that experience at 1555 Washington Street was when I was very initially becoming aware of, and that was because I had put on one of his arm, a, a knit armband that he had, a black, knit armband, not like hand knit, but purchased from the store knit. And I can't imagine where someone would have gotten a, a, a thing like this. It was just, it was a knit armband and, and and I've talked about it before and it had a, a, um, a silvery, it wasn't actual silver that, that, that I know of that, that what it was made of was, is not the point. It was like a, a star and it was sewed onto or tacked onto the armband and he never washed it. He never washed a lot of his clothes. He would wear his clothes again and again and again and again. Um, and the same outfit. And so when he held it and, and that armband, when I put it on that night, and I've talked about this and I'm, and I'm mentioning it because uh, to refer back and um, that this is a time period while I was at that uh, address residing with him, like not officially, but on and off for like a year and a half, I think it was. 
And um and I had put that armband on and and and, and again I've talked about this phenomenon that took place which was quite disturbing to me that when I put it on he was at work and I put it on and I could literally see like a, this movie of him um not an actual movie like a, but a, like it, I, it, it, it was like playing like a movie like a home movie in my mind's eye when I put this on uh, of him going through the tunnels in the um underneath Denver and he was accompanied by and it was really dark um but he was accompanied by a, a smaller person than him and he was only like four foot ten and he claimed to be 33 years old and I think he was much chronologically aged older. Um, um, because of the way his personality was and certain things about his physique that were, uh, he looked much older. Not so much his face, but his, his physique and his Oof. He really he literally thought he was something else. But anyway, um, it was his physique, even though he was only four foot ten, old people shrink. Um, it was his physique and different parts of his uh, body that made me think he was much older than what he claimed to be. Um and his hair. Um, and then I realized he resembled almost exactly someone that I had gra graduated high school with, um, who was about, uh, about the same height back uh, when we graduated high school. Um, so what I'm saying is just because he was four foot 10, I, I know that uh, chronologically aged adults can be four foot 10 who are much older than 33 years old. Um, So this like it played out like a home movie in in my mind's eye when I put this armband on, and that's when I first started to realize, gosh, that was like really strange, and that person accompanying him in this phenomenon, um his activity wasn't what the phenomenon was that the, the phenomenon obviously was the effect of this home movie type of thing playing in my mind's eye when I put on this armband that he uh, rarely if ever washed um, because what I started to realize that I never realized before is that when you don't wash clothes, um, your essence is contained in your clothing. Frustrating, very frustrating because these, uh, the secret societies are, um, they, take such entitlement uh, in 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 so very much because I don't want to say because why because I don't want to empower them at all um so he was accompanied in this home movie type of phenomenon that was playing in my mind of a much younger, uh, girl, like 
could have been my second daughter who was only five years old at the time because the person was smaller than him. And, um, and as I've stated, he was only like four foot 10. And, um, And so the transference of and, and how your clothes hold on to uh, hold hold the s your essence, and if you don't wash your clothes, then depending on how much, I I. I don't know because I, I I only know that he never washed his clothes. He very rarely washed his clothes. Um, the um, so this pair of Jenga pants that one night he pulled out of the drawer, uh of his unwashed clothes. Uh, and he asked, he asked me if I wanted to wear them. And I, I remember I might've said it to him at the time, but I know I remember thinking at least if I didn't, if I didn't say it out loud to him that, they look like a pair of pants that my daughter wore when she was in middle school. No, I'm not going to put those on, uh, under, not under any circumstances and not because of my daughter's behavior, but because I, ne I did not have an interest in, um, trying to pull off my daughter's age group. And, um, And so I didn't want to wear them, even if they would have fit me. I didn't want to put them on. And so he dropped it. He didn't usually drop things very, it dropped the, when he wanted me to do something, he didn't uh, drop it like the, like the black leather jacket that literally when I put that on, it, it felt like it weighed like 200 pounds um, when I put it on. And that's something that, that, that felt like I was, when I put it on, it felt like I was being, like carrying this really, um, weight of some really painful, emotionally and, and physically painful experience. Like, and then since then I've seen this jacket on many, and it seems like I'm winking, but I'm, I, I, I've got something in my eye. <clears throat> so it's a black, it was a black leather jacket that had been, it was old and it was like a biker style jacket. And I didn't want to wear it because I didn't like the way that I felt like it, it, as soon as I put it on, it was like, I felt like I was experiencing a concussion or something like literally like somebody had bonk, bonked me over the head as soon as I put it on. And I was like, I no, I, I don't want to wear this. And he insisted and insisted and insisted. And so we went out that night to a bar and, and literally I think he and I went anywhere together, like on a date type of situation. 
like maybe five times the entire year and a half that I was there, that I stayed there. Um, it, it was really a disgusting place to be. It was disgustingly filthy. Um, the fact that all we did was smoke pot and smoke cigarettes and, and, on Wednesday and Thursdays, I think it was, or Tuesdays and Wednesdays. On his nights off, all we did was was drink. And I would drink three or four beers and or two or three beers and I would be done because that's all I've ever drank my entire life anytime that I went anywhere. You know, some a few times a little more. I don't want to say anytime, anywhere. I I didn't drink near as much as anyone that I knew. Um, not back when I drank regularly, like before I ever got pregnant. Um. Um, and n neither there was just a click. Somebody's sensing that there's uh, an innocence that they can click into and uh, and 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 try to uh, try to claim. Um, so these Jenga pants I didn't want to put on, and he let it get he let it go for whatever reason, like I said, he didn't, he didn't, when he wanted me to do something, even to like immediately what comes to mind when he had gone out to McDonald's and gotten a, 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 two hamburgers and brought them back and French fries. He had a fit because I wouldn't eat the hamburger the way that he thought I should eat the hamburger um, and literally did one of his piranha type of um, responses in, in my face about, why can't you just see it like this? Why you have to eat it? And, um, and I was like, because of, whatever it's not the way and that's not my response wasn't um isn't what it what's important the fact that I'm, I'm uh he didn't drop things when he when he wanted me or needed me to do something for whatever premeditated reason that he uh, that he knew that he wanted me to do something. He didn't, uh, he didn't let go of, uh, in, until I would agree to do, but this particular, for whatever reason. Um, so anyway, since then I, I've realized and, and the phenomenon of the transference and why people purposefully change clothes. And the more innocent that you are and the more naive, unaware of this phenomenon that takes place, um, it, it, obviously the more they were able to take, it, to take advantage of my innocence, uh, within that practice of, of clothes, uh, um, sharing and whatnot. Um, even in up to present day when I've reported many times about uh, someone getting in my apartment and like I, I've come back times and I go to do laundry and I'm like, this is strange. This, and why is this t-shirt that I had 
why is it all stretched out like that when I've never worn it? And I, and I actually held on to it for a while. It was brand new for the entire year or two that I had it because I had bought it for someone else as a gift and hadn't, uh, hadn't seen that person. Um, and then I had taken it out because I was going to put it and include it into a bunch of clothing donations that I had. And I had it draped across the uh, arm of arm, arm, uh, of my sofa. And I came back one day and there it was in the same place that I had left it, but it was like stretched out and misshapen. And I personally, it was a very small t-shirt because the person that I purchased it for is a, is a very, very, very petite, like size zero. Um, chronologically aged adult person. And so I could not, there, it, my point is I never put even put it on, never even thought to because I knew it was way too small for me. And I hadn't I hadn't purchased it purchased it for myself. But there it was where I left it on my sofa, but all stretched out and misshapen, particularly in like the shoulders and the and and this part of of the the shirt this part in in the back and I thought to myself you know here here it is again uh someone obviously got into my apartment and thought they'd try that t-shirt on for whatever reason were they trying to and da 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 and so Everything that I'm aware of now that I wasn't aware of when I was young in regard to the sharing of clothing um, um, it, it is now, you know, playing through my head and I'm asking, okay, what the heck is going on with this and da da da, da. And then, of course, uh, also uh, the sock situation where I, where I went to do laundry one day and brand new socks, three, three pairs of, and, and at that time I only, I, I hadn't, I have a thing about socks because when I was a child, even when my daughter was, uh, was little, I, I always needed my daughter to have, well, I always needed her to have decent clothing, but, I the very minute that our socks would get holes in in them, I would go and uh, uh, get her get. I would purchase new socks because when I was a child, I couldn't stand when my socks got holes in them. I couldn't stand the way it felt. I couldn't stand anybody to notice that uh, that we couldn't afford. Uh, for me to have socks without holes in them when I was a little girl. Um, um, so then the whole sock thing uh, which is one of the more uh, prominent things that took, have taken place uh, in my apartment while I, while I was gone and that is and and right now I'm realizing yet another uh, mystical reason for uh, the 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 switching out of one of my socks. Um, and. And of course, I, I, I've talked about other things that have taken place. But then as far as clothing goes, there's been several times that I've come back to my apartment and I'd be like, this is really strange. Why does this, this, I, I, it, this looks like it's been worn. Like, I don't rehang clothes.
clothes that I've worn. Clothes that I've worn when I when I change my clothes go into the dirty laundry uh, basket. I don't hang things back up. I, 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 that, that, uh, uh, that have been worn, um, except for pajamas, pajamas, I will wear two or three nights in a row and, and put them either under, uh, I, I, I don't feel like I went into all this. It, it's like my integrity. I'm constantly having, having to, uh, having to um, present for the purpose of standing up for myself because something is going on either around me in present time or like I talked about on my earlier uh, journal entry. Um, So I would go in my closet to put something on and it would be like, it would be stretched and also just have a look like, like I had worn it already. And I know I don't, uh, uh, I, I don't rehang clothes that I, that I take off. And, um, when I chuff it in particular, I've had one for two or three days. I usually don't do that anymore. I don't wear clothes, but um, when I'm not feeling up to par or if I'm puttering around the apartment doing stuff, um, <sighs> so ignorant. The number of people who are constantly manipulating and there's no there's there's no escape from it because it's a secret society behavior. And oh, it, it's ignorant. Um, so I'm like 99.999% sure that I've been used even in that regard while up to present, not present day, obviously, but up to uh, uh, the past month of uh, my re my residency uh, here, here at uh, Thistle Apartments. And um, and I can talk extensively, and this these people who are tuned in to, and um, and and uh, so. how they use people, how they use innocence. It's like you you want to like shower and wash just thinking about these parasitic 
personalities uh, of these people who have lived their lives this way. Um, 